Hello everyone. Welcome to the first video of video lecture series of uh, mathematics for grade 11. We're going to start from chapter 5, section 2, which is about transforming functions. In previous grades, you learned a great deal of transformations, like horizontal transformation and vertical transformation. Right Here in this video, we will quickly review those concepts and we will see some examples and then we will see some other types of transformations. If you recall from previous grades, transformation is a general term which includes translations, reflections, and rotations. So, translation is just taking an object, a figure, a plane figure, and move it around in the coordinate plane. So, that's just like a rigid movement of your object, which is translation. Here, in this case, we have two types of translation. Which is, the first one is horizontal, and the second one is vertical. So, let's review them. Let's suppose h is a number which is positive, it's greater than 0, and you have a function f of x. If f of x is changed to f of x plus h, so if you add this positive number h to x, then the graph of your function is shifted h units to the left. Similarly, if you change x to x minus h, h is still a positive number. Then the graph of f is shifted h units to the right. Let's see one example for this. Suppose f of x is basic quadratic function which is f of x equals x squared. If you remember from previous grades, the graph of this function is a parabola with its vertex at the origin. So it is something like this. Now, I want to graph f of x equals x plus 2 squared. Now look what, what happened here. x here in this function, x is changed to x plus 2. So this means, according to this horizontal translation, it means take the graph of this function, take the basic function, and move it 2 units to the left, to the left side. So let's see how it looks like. So let's just start with the basic one. This was f of x equals x squared. Now I just have to move this graph two units to the left. So that's one, and that's two. So the graph looks like this. So the red one is the graph of f of x equals x plus 2 squared. Let's see another example. Let's say f of x equals absolute value of x. If you recall the graph of absolute value function, basic absolute value function, is a v-shaped something like this. Now let's imagine I'm going to graph f of x equals absolute value of x minus 5. So in this case x is changed to x minus 5 which means uh, we are dealing with a horizontal translation 5 units to the right. So let's graph it. 
this is the original one now I have to move it five units to the right one two three four and five so the vertex of this graph comes over here and then this will be my the graph of my new function so this these examples are uh, examples of horizontal translations left and right the other type of translation that you saw before was vertical translation so let's suppose k is a number which is positive is a number greater than zero if the function f of x is added to k so k is added to the whole function this means the graph of f is shifted k units upwards so just take the graph of f and move it k units up if k is subtracted from f of x then we take the graph of f and move it k units downwards okay so now let's see an example for this vertical translation let's say f of x is given by the same quadratic function x squared and we are going to graph a transformation of this one which is given by the same name f of x equals x squared plus 1 so in order to graph this function as you see k here the the number k which we had over here is 1 okay so 1 is added to the function x squared so that means we are dealing with a vertical translation so you have to take the graph of x squared and move it one unit upwards so let's do that this is my usual Cartesian coordinate plane this is the graph of x squared the basic one now to graph this function we have to take this graph and move it one unit up so the vertex comes here and the graph will be like this so this is the graph of f of x equals x squared just take the graph and move it one unit upwards next type of transformation is reflection so we will here in this video we will just consider one type of of reflection and that's reflection about the x-axis so if you multiply f of x by a negative by minus one the graph of f will be reflected across the x-axis so let's see how it looks like let's say f of x is equal to absolute value of x and I'm going to graph Uh, let's say g of x which is minus absolute value of x so as you see the relation between g and f is that g of x is just f of x but multiplied by a minus one so that means the graph of g is a reflection of the graph of f across the x-axis so let's see how it looks like Let's graph f, which is absolute value function. That's this. This is the graph of f of x. Now to graph g, we have to reflect f across the x-axis. It's just like a mirror reflection. So it becomes like this. So and this is the graph of g. All right. Now let's see an example which kind of includes all of these transformations that we had so far. Okay, so example graph 
f of x, which is given by minus x, let's say minus 2 squared plus 3. So let's graph this function. As you see, we are dealing with basic quadratic function, which has some kind of transformations involved here. So let's just start with the basic one. This is the graph of y equals x squared. So this is y equals x squared. Now, x is changed to x minus 2, right? x minus 2 here. That means we have to shift the graph two units to the right. So it becomes 2 units to the right. The graph ends up here. Then there is a minus sign here. It means the this function has been multiplied by a minus, which means we have to reflect it across the x-axis. So let's just do that in a new graph here. So just reflect it across the x-axis. It opens downwards, like this one. And then finally, the function is added 3. So we have to move, this one is a vertical translation. We have to move the graph 3 units upwards. So the final result looks like three units upwards. So the vertex of the parabola ends up here and the graph becomes something like this one. And that's the graph of f of x equals negative x minus 2 squared plus 3. That's it for this video. In the next video, we will cover some more examples of different types of transformations, and we will come back to the, to the idea of piecewise functions that you had in previous sections.